Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy, and today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2023. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to trace paths using the Create Nulls from Paths script. First, I'm going to create the rounded rectangle. To do so, I'm going to click on the Shape tool and click on Rounded Rectangle tool. I'll give it a fill color. I'm using a 14 pixel stroke, and I am going to uncheck Bezier Path. I got better results with it unchecked. So I'm just going to click and I'm going to drag out my rounded rectangle. I'm going to go to the align panel and just center it to the composition. Now I'm going to open up the create nulls from path script. To locate it, go to the top menu, click on window and go to the very bottom. You will see create nulls from path. I'll click that. It's going to open up this dialog box. And if you click on any of these buttons, you're going to get this error message as in order to use this script, you must have a path selected. So let's select the path by twirling open the shape layer, twirling open contents. I'll twirl open rectangle one. I see rectangle path, but there's no path. No problem. All you have to do is right click or control click right on the rectangle path or whatever shape path you're using and convert to Bezier path. So now if I twirl open path one, I have a path to select. So with the path selected, before you click on trace path though, make sure that your current time indicator is at the beginning of the timeline as that's going to affect where the script places the null object. I'm going to click on trace path. The script created this null in the layers panel and I can see that null object in the top right corner. And if I drag my playhead, you're going to see it's just tracing around that path. And the reason it placed the null object in this location is because that is where the first vertex of this path is located. If you wanted to change it, maybe you wanted it to start in the top left corner, select the rectangle in the layers panel, make sure you have your move tool selected and click on the point that you want to make the first vertex. So I'll just click right there. I'm going to right click or control click, go to mask and shape path, set first vertex, and now if I select the null layer, you can see it's starting in that top left corner. Now I'm going to drag on a graphic that I want to follow along the null. So I'll drag out this bus. I'll tap S to bring up the scale. I'm going to rotate it, tap R, rotate the tires, and I'm just going to line it up with the null. I'll come down to the layers panel. Make sure you see parent and link. If you don't, you can right click right on the header area, go to columns, parent and link, select the pick whip, and drag it onto the null. Now, wherever the null goes, the bus is attached to that null. So if I drag my playhead, you see it's following around that null. To slow down or speed up the animation, just select the null layer, tap U to reveal all keyframes. Two keyframes were automatically created when you ran the script. All you have to do is just take the second keyframe. The further you space the keyframes apart, the slower the animation. If you wanted to reverse the direction, you could select both keyframes, right click, go to keyframe assistant and select time reverse keyframes. And when you select the null layer, if you go to the effect controls, you'll see that trace path is listed as an effect. Now you can't change the progress, but you can uncheck this loop if you want the animation to stop when it gets to the second keyframe. And that is how to trace any path, whether it's a shape or a mask in Adobe After Effects CC 2023. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.